Hi everyone, this is Triple Valve Metro Camel. Welcome to the YouTube channel and thank you for checking out my video today. It means a lot to me, so thank you very much. Um, just want to share with you some little updates on Bentley Park, which is my great eastern early 60s layout, which is in double O scale and it's DC. I want to share with you a few things I've been doing on the layout in the last couple of days. Um, I found some leftover bits of point rodding from the wheels kits that I made up uh, previously on the layout so I decided to uh, use them up and make some more point rodding for Mill Lane Goods Depot Yard. So here we go. So I'll just show you these, what I've done oops, as of last night. So you've got now I've got a set of rods that control these points here and obviously the rodding goes back to the signal box just underneath there and then you've got another set of rods that come out alongside it and they kick off and go underneath the forefoot there, underneath those kick boards that I've made and they go up by another set of drive rods to those points there and then up the top you've got quite a long run in terms of rodding that go from those points all the way back up to the box back there so much like the prototypical signal box rodding, I had to cut a hole just underneath my signal box to accommodate um, all this rodding which is there. I'll just try and zoom it in a bit better for you. As you can see, just a tiny little slot there. So basically I've got something mechanical, or something that looks like it does a mechanical job for my points in the goods yard here. So at least I've got something visual to uh, show that these points are connected up to something and the signal box which is obviously here is, has a function. Also what I did, I secured the signal box temporarily or uh, semi-temporarily at one end with some glue which is covered up by the static grass that you see here. So at least this box will not move, it's pretty sturdy on there but should I want to remove it and obviously put lighting inside the signal box or anything special then I can actually remove the box from the baseboard if I want to but I've secured it in place stop it getting knocked about here and there so that's what I've done as of uh, a couple of days ago it took me roughly about four hours to do all this so it wasn't that long um, if you've got point running on your layout already as you know this stuff is extremely fiddly and it does require a lot of patience and certainly a decent pair of tweezers to work with as well. Um, one of the things I did in my point rodding, to make it extra realistic, I just used some matte black um, paint on the wheel parts of the rodding there, as you can see, to simulate grease. These points were obviously looked after and well in use every single day. And I've done that throughout my rodding all the way up um, through here. I'll try and bring the camera in a bit better for you guys. Okay. And the other thing I just did about an hour or so ago, I decided to give my level crossing up at the station a makeover. So obviously if you've watched the videos before on my channel, you know that the level crossing was greyish that matched the road surface. Well, I've given it a makeover, so this is the first time I'm going to show you guys this, so hopefully you'll think it's an improvement. If not, let me know, but here we go. This is the new level crossing repainted. Let's go and have a look. And there it is. So all I've done there, I've just used some frame dirt, rail match frame dirt, and just basically painted the road surface of the crossing a frame dirty brown basically, which is supposed to replicate a more realistic wooden surface for the crossing. The level crossing gates I've repainted as well, including the uh, the lamps on top of the gates there, they got added with a bit of red paint. The discs as well on the front there, 
some hinges got painted on there as well. So I've done right the way across in terms of the gates and the road surface has been repainted. So I hope it looks better. And I'm not sure if you guys think that's good or not, but I certainly think it looks better anyway. I was getting fed up with the the grey road surface, obviously, that matches the rest of the road there, which is fine, but in reality, um, it was getting a little bit worn, and you're starting to see the original um, Hornby level crossing pattern underneath with diamonds on the road markings there. I didn't particularly like that too much, so hopefully that's an improvement there. And I'm just waiting for it to dry. I've given it a little bit of a blast with... Uh, some Humbrol enamel spray so just waiting for it to go off and then we should be able to have our level crossing in use so there we go so that's a new level crossing repaint and the point rodding which is over there in the good yard so hope you enjoyed that and what I'll do I'll stop the video and I'll probably finish up with some running and some trains so see you soon thanks for watching happy modeling and all the best take care god bless bye bye